Extinct Dog Breeds Part 2, St. John's Water Dog. If you own a retriever of any kind, or a big fuzzy Newfoundland, then you owe their existence to a now extinct dog breed. Let's go back in time. It's Newfoundland in the 1600s, and you're a fisherman, or a fisherwoman, and your life is pretty rigorous. The climate is really cold and inhospitable, so you think to yourself, I could really use a dog to help out. And the pup you turn to looks like this. They came to be known as the St. John's Water Dog. They had water-resistant fur and otter-like feet, so they were as comfortable on land as they were in water. They also had an incredible temperament and could perform nearly any task you asked of them. By the 1800s, they caught the eye of British aristocracy. Some bred the larger water dogs with English mastiffs and made the Newfoundland. Others took the smaller variety, blended it with their retrievers, which would eventually create all modern retrievers. So why did they go extinct? In the mid-1800s, the government put a tax on all dogs not associated with sheep production. And as their economy shifted, their numbers dwindled. And they declined all the way to the 1980s, until the last two passed away.